Good morning, uh, this is Jason Sen from daytradeideas.com. It is the 5th of November, we're looking at a chart of natural gas daily chart. Um, getting fairly interesting this one, you can see we had a bit of a run up through the summer and uh, then as we've uh, hit October, we started to sell off towards the end of October. Uh, okay, so what happens next? Well, we're going to scrunch this chart up a little bit just to show you uh, a trend line going back to the beginning of uh, May, end of, end of April almost really. Uh, this is what's important at the moment, I think, this trend line, uh, this big black trend line going there. So what does it mean? Uh, well, you coincide that with the Fibonacci retracement, which we're hitting at the moment. Now, we've rolled over to debt contract and we've gapped lower here. But you can see that 3-spot 412 is, um, is very important Fib support, um, having retraced 61.8% of that rally up from, uh, from the middle of August. Um, this is very important support. Um, if this doesn't hold, uh, Nat Gas is going to be in trouble, and then we're going to continue down to the trend line, which comes in at 33.62. So uh, we need to watch those levels today. We are getting quite oversold on the daily chart, uh, but the stochastics are still negative. The MACD is also very negative. So this is by no means um, uh, a low risk trade uh, because the momentum is certainly very negative but it is good support so you've just got to watch this 3412 area this also happens to coincide with this low here which is down at 3402 which I believe is the low for September so you can see that sort of 3412 3402 area should at least act as good support and if if it does we could see these negative stochastics turn higher relatively quickly perhaps before the end of the week I've just <clears throat> flicked over to a shorter term chart here, the four hour chart, just to give you a, an idea for, for the next day or two. Again, stochastics very oversold, MACD getting close to, to turning positive. We wouldn't need a big move higher in order to, to give us a little bit of a buy signal there. So, you know, we're on the verge of something that could be quite positive if we can just hold, to, hold on to those support levels. You can see we've bottomed at 3406, which is pretty much exactly where we need to bottom so we need to hold that area again today if we do and we push higher as hoped well we've got a bit of a gap to fill uh, which also coincides with the first Fibonacci uh, target for the bounce so that's going to be 35.10, 35.15 that's where we're looking for for the first target for natural gas if we get the bounce as we've hoped for and you can see some Fib levels above there 35.83 is an obvious one if I flick back to the daily chart we'll see if we've got any bigger levels well we've got 35.00 uh, but that, that pretty much coincides with that gap so anyway um, if we're really lucky, probably not before the end of the week, but at some stage next week, we might even get as far as 35.86, 35.96, which is a big FIB level. And it's also the 100-day moving average. At this stage, I'd be surprised to see it any higher than that. So um, that's the upside potential. If, however, we start breaking below 34.00, it's not going to look good. We're going to be t trying to test this uh, this what is it something like an, an eight nine month uptrend line I think um, around 3366 and that really is the last hope for the bulls um, if we close below there any time this week uh, we're in trouble and we're going to continue lower um, to at least 3287 I'd suggest which is this sub sub fib support area there okay that's our look at natural gas for today I'm Jason Sen at daytradeideas.com